was trying to think like, when I went through basic training, was I like this? Every cycle I be thinking like, I know I wasn't like this rough. channel and thank you so much for stopping by whether you're OG you just subscribe or you just clicked on my video to see what I was talking about I really appreciate it I hope you stay a little while so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more topics like the one I'm going to be talking about today I am so excited to get this series started on my channel it's been something that I wanted to do for a while because I'm a seasoned NCO, I'm a seasoned soldier or whatever, so <laughs> there is a lot of knowledge that I have, there's a lot of information that needs to be shared, especially to anybody that is considering joining the military, the Army in particular. So a little bit of background about myself, I am in the Army, I've been in the Army for quite some time now, and as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be talking about Jill Sergeant Life. Now, this is my experience as being a drill sergeant. I'm not saying everybody's experience like this. I'm just particularly talking about my experience as a drill sergeant. Everybody's experience is a little bit different based off location, battalion, unit, company. It just depends, okay? So please don't think that my experience will be everybody's experience because I'm pretty sure it's not because the same battle buddies or classmates that I went to drill sergeant school with, they had a totally different experience than me. Yes, some things are the same as far as training if you're at the same location, but your experience can be very different than what I've been through. And if you're somebody that's considering going into the military, your experience can be different as well since you're gonna be in that training environment. So please, please, please don't think this will be everywhere or everybody. All right, so as you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be talking about just on life. How was it? So I was on the trail for two years. I just recently got off in February. I de had it in February and we say de had it because the hat comes off, baby. The hat comes off. We are no longer drill sergeants, however, we continue to have that drill sergeant badge. All right, so let's get into it. So I went to drill sergeant school in 2019, and I graduated right before COVID happened. So I graduated at the end of 2019, and I started my drill sergeant tour at the beginning of 2020, right? So I started my drill sergeant tour right, literally, literally right before COVID had started, literally right before COVID had started. Let me rewind a little bit and let y'all know this. I did not volunteer to become a drill sergeant. I actually was selected to be a drill sergeant. I was actually trying to be a recruiter, if we want to be honest. Like, I was actually trying to be a recruiter, but they really needed female drills at that time. So they was like, I'm going to put you on drill sergeant duty instead of recruiting. And I was just like, Honestly, I was really bombed. I was just like, what? I never wanted to be a drill sergeant, you know what I'm saying? All right, so moving on, I came 
to Fort Jackson. I was a drill sergeant at Fort Jackson. Lovely place. I love the Columbia area. I was excited about that because I was in a remote location. So I was excited to be civilized again at some sort. So I was excited to be located at Fort Jackson and I was placed in a really great battalion and a really great company, which I found out later on, okay? Which I found out later on. My first cycle, so, okay. I'm gonna keep it 100, cause I'm, a, I'm just a straightforward person and that's just what it is. I don't like to sugarcoat nothing and I don't like people to sugarcoat anything with me. So it's just like, I came in, of course I was a little nervous, it was my first time, but when I started being a drill sergeant, um, they were in their third week. So they were still in red phase. They were in their third week. The particular platoon, the particular platoon that I was in didn't have a female drill sergeant. So I went to that platoon to be their female drill sergeant. They tried their best to place a female in every platoon. One company, four platoons, four drill sergeants. That's in a perfect world. But sometimes with the manning situation, um, you don't have enough females to have a female in every platoon. But I was in a company to where every platoon had a female that was just missing me. So that's why they placed me in that particular company. Right? So like I was saying, I was, I remember like it was yesterday, y'all, that I went there. It was my first day. Um... I went over to my company, I met my first sergeant, but nobody was there but my first sergeant because everybody was at Seaburn, and Seaburn is the gas chamber. So they was out there doing the gas chamber, and he was like, Jill so-and-so is gonna come pick you up. And I was like, this is about to get real. Like, I didn't have time to talk to any of my, um, any of the drill sergeants that was in my company. I didn't have time to talk to the senior that was over me. Um, but my senior was in school at that time anyway. So I was just like, I had to mentally prepare like really quick. Really, really, really quick, y'all. So the Joe Stein came and picked me up. We chatted a little bit, went out there to see Burn. Soon as I get there, I walked up. I was like, hi everyone. But it was very different because nobody didn't really walk up to me and, to, and introduce themselves. Now I will tell you one thing that they tell you in drill sergeant school is that the people that you are on the trail with is going to be your biggest issue it's not going to be the trainees it's the people that you work with right so i always kept that in the back of my mind i was like okay whatever so i walked up and i was like hi hi you know talk to drill sergeant like hi how you doing whatever just talking to them because when nobody really like oh i'm just starting such such or um such that i was just like okay maybe this is not what they what they do i was like uh, thinking in my head like maybe it's not what they do they don't introduce each other or whatever but whatever you know i just want them to flow and then one of the drill sergeants it was their duty week he was like you want to go in the chamber and i was like excuse me <laughs> you want me to do what now you you did my first day you you know like literally i was like that but me being me i ain't no punk you know what i'm saying i was like yeah yeah i go in the chamber yeah i go in the chamber so i'm just thinking based off the stuff we learned in just learn school you know you don't have to take off your gas mask so whatever this is before covid happened right you don't have to take off your gas mask that's a chinese got to take our gas mask you just got to make sure that they're doing what they're supposed to do and when they break the seal you know you just got to be there for that or whatever and i was like let's do it like i'm not worried about it let's do it it's nothing so i ended up going in the chamber everything was good everything was good until we got to the end and so we got to the end and the drill sergeant was like, y'all want to take off y'all mask? Huh? Y'all want me? It's my first day. That's how I was thinking in my head. So I was like, 
I was like, you can't go out like no punk. Like, you really can't go out not like no punk or whatever. So I was just like, I, I was like, let's do it, let's do it. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. If you ever went through the gas chamber, then you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't went through the gas chamber, I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't even know how to explain the pain. I don't even know, but yes, that was literally like my first day. I just jumped in head first because it was already training or whatever, right? So the days go by, the training gets more intense, the hours, the long days, the early wake up. So I literally didn't get no sleep. I literally didn't eat. It was such a culture shock to me because I was like, oh my God, I have a dog. So I had to hire a sitter for my dog because I really didn't know that it was going to be that intensive. I really didn't know that it was going to be that intensive. So I'm working every day. And my hours at that time, y'all, my hours at that time was from 5 to 5.30 till 2100 which is 9 p.m i'm literally at work all day huh barely eating barely drinking like it was rough and then i had to repeat every day repeat every day that literally took a toll on my body and then i had to get used to it because i was just like this is a lot for me this is really a lot for me, y'all. So my first few weeks was kind of rough because I really wasn't used to that. I'm in a low density MOS, okay? So a lot of stuff as far as staying in the field or working on hours, doing 24 hour duty, I wasn't used to that. So it was a culture shock for me. And I was just like, okay. But I ain't gonna give up. I'm not gonna complain. I don't complain because this is what this is what I'm here for. And I put my best foot forward every day. All right. So I'm gonna get into a little bit of situations I had on the trail. Right. No names. These are my situations. And like I said before, I want you to remember that everybody don't go through this. Remember when I told you? that they say that your biggest problem is the people that you work with. Now, on the trail, you will have people that are called seniors over you that are the same rank. That's not a problem to me at all. I work good on anybody. I don't have a problem with people of the same rank telling me what to do because of their position. Some people have a problem with that, but that's a, that's, their problem. I don't have a problem with that. I never have a problem with that. I understood my role. You know what I'm saying? But what I had a problem with is certain people that feel like you, since you are female, there are certain things that you cannot do. Right? So just because I'm a female, you want to make me ride in the van during work marches or during field events just because I'm a female, because you may or may not feel that I am capable to do the task. That's how I felt during that time. And I'm just like, I'm here to learn. There's a lot of stuff that I don't know when it comes to, or I didn't know at the time, you know, it was my first cycle. So there's a lot of stuff I didn't know when it came to um, field events, when it came to, um, fireman movement when it came to squad attacks when it came to stuff like that because I've never had to do that before y'all I'm serious like I've never had to do that but I wanted somebody to teach me so moving forward when it came to the cycles after that I would know don't just shut me down so in my opinion I dealt with a little sexism that's my opinion mine my opinion but on the other hand it could have been that my senior at the time thought that they was looking out for me because maybe they felt like a female shouldn't be doing this stuff. 
I don't know. I don't want to get too much into that, but that is something that I didn't like because we're all drill sergeants at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So what you do, I can do. Just show me how to do it, teach me how to do it, and from this point on, I got you. So I will say that I dealt with that a little bit. Like I said, that's my opinion. All right, I'm gonna just move on because working with your battles is a, a whole nother topic. I would just say, if you are a drill sergeant, a newly drill sergeant, or going to drill sergeant school soon, and you're gonna be a drill sergeant, just make sure you be observant and just try to work with people as much as you can. You're not gonna get along with everyone because I didn't. I'm not gonna sit up here and lie and say that I did. I didn't get along with everyone, but every day I went to work, I trained my trainees, and I went home, and that's just that. Let's get into these trainees, y'all. Where do I even begin with this? Okay, I was trying to think like, when I went through basic training, was I like this? Every cycle, I be thinking like, I know I wasn't like this rough. I know I wasn't this insubordinate. I know I wasn't this undisciplined. I was just like, what the fuck is going on? So you have to have a strong mind. You have to be willing to set aside some of your mannerisms, right? So if you are used to talking to people a certain type of way, when it comes to the trainees, you gotta handle them different. Every trainee is different. They're a person, but we call them trainees. They are people at the end of the day, and that's what I went into it with. They are still people, they still have needs, they still have personal issues. I'm sorry, my dog is doing something crazy right now. So you have to have that mindset that they still are people. Yes, you are there to train them. Yes, they will not disrespect you, but they will. They will try. They will try to disrespect you. Of course, they're gonna push their limits and try to get away with certain stuff. I mean, they're humans, okay? But I do feel like the trainees will make or break you they will make or break you at the end of the day when it comes to the trainees like it's a different environment from when I came through a long time ago and the generation is very different I feel as though um, there's a lot of sensitivity you know you gotta be sensitive to their needs and you have to remember that they didn't grow up kind of like how we grew up times have changed and they're not used to an environment to where people may be yelling at them or people are constantly telling them what to do where to be what to be and what time to be there and if they don't follow those instructions they're going to get in trouble they're not used to that so you know so it's definitely a culture shock for them but you still have to be who you are. You still have to be a jewel star. You still have to let them know you in charge. And if you're a person that's coming in the military, you're gonna be considered, or coming in the army, you're gonna be considered a trainee. So you have to remember that you come in there to train, right? You come in there to train. You already know that it's gonna be hard, it's gonna be tough, it's gonna be a change in your body, it's gonna be a lot of training, it's gonna be early mornings, late nights, and people gonna get on your nerves. The drill sergeant's gonna get on your nerves, and your freaking battle buddies that you're training with are gonna get on your nerves. That's just what it is. It's gonna happen. There's no way around that. It's gonna happen. So, I didn't really have, I didn't really have a rough time as much because honestly, man, because honestly COVID happened and a lot of things changed. We went down to minimum manning and we was working rotation schedules. So my first year, honestly, wasn't that bad. It was the second year when I became a senior is when, is when I noticed um, 
a lot. I noticed a lot. I noticed a lot of changes. And that goes back to people don't want you to tell them what to do because you're the same rank as them. It's just a lot. It was a lot to deal with. But as long as you have a good command team, you have at least some drill sergeants in your company that you can work with really good, I think you'll be straight. I honestly think you'll be straight. Overall, I will say that my drill sergeant time was pretty good. Was pretty good. Like I said, there are times, and I'm gonna share this with y'all because I don't care. There are times that I came home and I was rethinking my whole life. Rethinking my whole life like, this is not it. I should not have to deal with this every day. I should not have to deal with working with people that are not good people. I should have not have to deal with working with kids that don't want to listen. I just should not have to deal with that. So there are times that I would come home and I'd be like, oh my God. Oh my God. It's not an easy job. And people, people think or may think that it is, but it's really not an easy job. It puts a strain on people, family, people, relationships, people's kids. People barely see their kids because of the hours. And I feel like as drill sergeants, we didn't get enough credit or we don't get enough credit at all. And there needs to be a change to that. It really does need to be a change to that because I think we are the hardest working people in the army. I believe that. I really do believe that. And we don't get enough credit. But overall, my experience went too bad. Once I got over the sleep deprivation, deprivation once I got with a team, that was really good. Once I became a senior, I had the best team. I had the best team and they know who they are and I thank them for that so much. They was the best team and they still are. They're seniors now or they're leaving now. They were awesome. So I really appreciate them for that. But I don't want you to think that Joe Sawyer is just the worst job ever because it's not. It's actually very rewarding. I'm actually glad that I got a chance to do it. I actually miss it a little bit. And what I miss the most about it, I'm a, I'm a mentor at heart. I love mentoring people. I love having soldiers. I love seeing soldiers progress. Like at heart, that's the person that I am. And I love seeing people progress, period. Like friends, family, all that. So what I'm gonna miss the most about it is seeing the trainees transition from a civilian to a soldier. They grow so much over those 10 weeks. It's crazy. It's crazy because at the end, you see all the hard work that you've put in. Of course you have those of course you have that of course you have that little patch of trainees that ain't gonna do right but we ain't gonna worry about them okay but it's so rewarding to see the hard work like it's just like oh, i did that i did that at every cycle I, every the end of every cycle i just feel like you did that boo you did that so it's not bad at all so some advice that I would give any future drill sergeants out there is just go in with an open mind, be observant, be resilient, be who you are, because you don't have to yell to be a drill sergeant. You can be yourself. You can really be yourself, who you are. That's what I try to tell people all the time. Be who you are at the end of the day. Don't try to change yourself because of the title don't try to do that at all because people notice when you're not yourself and you're trying to be somebody that you're not so be who you are at heart if you are a person that's considering joining the military the army and you may be going through basic training soon my advice to you is just 
also have an open mind. Know that you're going there to train. Know that your drill sergeants have your best interest at heart as long as you're doing what you're supposed to do. Don't go there thinking they're out to get you. And just remember that it's only 10 weeks and then you'll be going on about your life. It's just a requirement that you have to go through so that we can teach you the basic things that you need to know to become a soldier. And when I say basic, it's basic. Because you're gonna learn so much more in your career. So much more in your career. We're just teaching you the fundamentals of being a soldier. That's it. So don't give your drill sergeants a hard time, y'all. Don't give them a hard time, even though they're more than likely gonna give you a hard time. It's okay, it's okay. So that is really all that I have to say. My just our time wasn't hard. That's all it was. At first, I mean, at first it was hard, like I said. But overall, if I had to rank it, I would give my just our time a eight out of 10. And I'm really glad, like I said, that I really went through it because it taught me a lot. I've grown a lot for, from it. And I've learned a lot about myself and others. So I really hope that you guys like this video. If you have more questions that you wanna ask me about it, Drop the questions down in the comment section because I know I didn't really touch on too much because I didn't really know. I didn't want to go on a rant. <laughs> but if there's some things that you want to know, just make sure you guys drop it down in the comment section. Or if you have any other topics that you would like me to discuss, you drop that down in the comment section as well. And I'll look at those topics and see if I can get a video out for you guys. Like I said, if you're new, make sure you hit that red button and turn it gray, okay? Hit that red subscribe button and turn it gray, okay? <laughs> I would love for you to come back and be a part of the family. I have so much more in store for you guys. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.